So as you walk in, obviously you've got his window here. Um, I plan on getting a new curtain rail for up here and then some new curtains. The ones he's got at the moment um, don't block out the light. So we have um, like blackout stuff that we put on the windows on the night time just to make it a bit darker for him because he does sleep better in the dark. Um, so yeah, so plan to get some new curtains. What are you doing, mister? All right. Um, and then I might keep this name up here, but maybe paint them a different colour. Um, and then over this side on the right hand side of his room, he's got um, some pictures up on the wall, which um, I'll probably will keep because they're relatively um, like neutral colour scheme. And that's what we're going for in here. This plastic unit in the corner, uh, maybe keep, but I'm not too sure. It hasn't really got much in at the moment. It's just in here because there's nowhere else to put it at the moment. So these chest of drawers here are going to come out of this room and they're full at the moment so they've got everything in like his um, socks, everything in at the moment, socks and vests and then jumpers, pyjamas, tops and pants and things. What's up? Oh dear, you okay? I'm going to pick your rhino up. Yep, so these are going to be emptied into baskets. Um, I'm going to go in this cupboard, which is in his room, which I have recently painted inside. I just need to get some sticky back plastic for the shelves, just to smarten them up a bit. So that's what we're going to use for his clothes. Okay, so that's the cupboard, and then swinging around this way, this is his bed. Um, now obviously as you can see it is only a really small toddler bed so so the plan is to get him a new bed full-size single bed um, and take these out his room at the moment is quite babyish because obviously he is still a baby he's only two and a half um, do excuse the serenading that you're getting at the moment yeah so the plan is to take all these drawers out um, and find somewhere else I might maybe take the stuff out of these drawers and pop them into these ones and just keep those in here because as I said that is virtually empty at the moment oh I'm standing all over trains um, yeah so those drawers will come out and then we'll put his full size single bed in here or possibly along this way depending on how big the bed is so yeah, that's a plan for his room at the moment, um, and obviously, and obviously that will include getting new bedding, um, and I want to get him like a basket for the corner of his room so he can have a few toys in here. At the moment, he doesn't have any toys in here other than his like soft, like teddies, um, but that's um, something that maybe we can look at changing. Obviously, the older he gets. Maybe just put like a little basket of toys in here for him. So yeah, that's what I intend on doing with his room. Um, plans may change, but um, the, the priority for us at the moment... Stop talking. The priority at the moment is to get him a bigger bed because he is falling out of this one a lot. Mainly because when he's turning over in bed, he hasn't got a lot of room, so he's like rolling out onto the floor more often than not I wake up in the morning and there's things on the floor or his feet are on the floor and his head's against the wall so yeah so we're idea oh I've just noticed I've been talking this entire time and the toilet's in the background how lovely and um, yeah so that's the plan we'll see how far we get with that so I'll update you again um, probably when we get his new bed which should be within the next couple of weeks and then it'll be transitioning the clothes from his chest of drawers into his little cupboard so yeah, that's where we're up to with this bedroom. We still haven't replaced the curtains yet, but I might just keep those up because they kind of tie in with his new bedding. So yeah, so as you walk in, um, we've moved the unit over. It kind of was central in the middle of this wall, but we've moved it over to this side to make room for his teddies to sit there. So I still need to get a basket to sit in this corner to put teddies in and some blankets for him. He's still got his little items on the top all of his current clothes that he fits in are in these drawers and then this cupboard um, I think last time I showed you was empty I think I'd just painted it so now it has all of his bigger clothes 
all stored so we've got rid of the plastic units and all those boxes are now in here so that makes more use of that space and then we move on to his bed so this is his new bed it's pretty tight fit i'll just shut this door are you coming in so it's pretty tight fit he's gonna demonstrate <laughs> Um, but it fits, the door opens fine, so yeah, so the bed was from Ikea, it's just a plain pine wooden frame, I'll show you, okay, plain pine wooden frame, oh, Barry's on the floor, there he is, um, and the mattress, mattress is quite thick actually, it's lovely, um, but everything you see is was from Ikea, so the bed frame was £25, the bed slats were 20 the mattress was 125 it's a single pocket sprung mattress so it's a good one um you've got i've got him a new pillow he did have a big pillow on his toddler bed but it was just kind of old and needed an update so we've got him a new pillow and obviously a duvet and this cover this um duvet cover you can see it's like chevrons um it's lovely and it goes quite well i didn't want to do too much dark grey in here because I still wanted it to be nice and light with it being such a small room but I love it and he loves his bed so we're just going to get something to go on this wall and um, because it is a bit bare we've got his camera up in the corner but we're looking for something for this wall at the moment I might do a couple of prints yeah I might do a couple of prints and um, we've got some prints in the living room from that um, decennio so we might order some things off there um, and get some put up on the wall still undecided about the letters as to what to do with them. I might repaint them um, and display them in some way. I could always put them on the wall, but we'll see. Yeah, so that's kind of the update on his room. The only things left to do is uh, potentially replace the curtains if I feel I need to and get a basket for this corner.